strongest earthquake in 140 years, John. Look at all that. And it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. The eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience for anybody who is in the area of Total. In my
week. And so uh, connect the dots for our audience. What do all three uh, have in common? Well, first of all, let's start off, Alexis, specifically with Tesla and Donald Trump. And go back to the 1940s. The, invet the inventor Nikola Tesla died in 1943, the FBI was called in to vet his inventions to make sure there was nothing dangerous there that could fall into enemy hands. And they called an MIT electrical engineering professor, a very esteemed one named John Trump. Now it turns out that that John Trump is in fact the uncle of the president of the United States. So an interesting thing there, and by the way, he found out that Tesla's inventions, which included a purported death ray, were not necessarily uh, dangerous to society. He was experimenting with oscillators, which are electronic devices used to emit sound waves and even vibrations. He attached the little device to a support beam in his lab that ran the length of the building. He switched it on and started to gradually adjust the frequency it was emitting until, bingo, the beam started to vibrate. He had found the resonant frequency of the column. The test was proving to be a success. He started to feel a vibration in the floor as the sound wave traveled down the length of the beam and spread under his feet. He increased the intensity on the knob. It was just a quiver, but his downstairs neighbor began to notice his ceiling shaking. The other neighbors thought it was a heavy truck banging down the street, but the shaking persisted and grew stronger and stronger. Now the vibration spread across the entire floor of the laboratory and into the neighboring buildings. Some of the locals in Little Italy and Chinatown began spilling onto the streets, thinking an earthquake was happening. The trembling was incessant and horrific, causing windows to shatter, pipes to stretch. The local police on Mulberry Street, they felt it too. An earthquake in New York City? Impossible. The police station was right around the corner from Tesla's lab, and they were all too familiar with the strange lights and sounds which would happen throughout the day and night from that building. As the ground shook, furniture was moving, pipes were breaking, and, and the officers thought the police headquarters was about to collapse. Two police rushed out the door toward Tessa's lab. They reached his building. The vibrations felt even stronger there. They ran up the stairwell, facing the fear that the building might collapse on them. As they burst through the door to Tesla's lab, they were met with a bizarre sight. Tesla swinging a heavy sledgehammer at one of the iron beams. He smashed the little device off and the vibrations instantly stopped. No more earthquake. Tesla was surprised to see the two uniformed police officers just staring at him in shock. He approached them with the sledgehammer still in his hands and said, Gentlemen, I'm sorry, but you are just a trifle too late to witness my experiment. I found it necessary to stop it suddenly and unexpectedly in an unusual manner, just as you entered. If you will come around this evening, I will have another oscillator attached to this platform, and each of you can stand on it. You will, I am sure. Find it a most interesting and pleasurable experience. Now, you must leave, for I have many things to do. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> Apparently, Tesla was completely oblivious to the near destruction he had caused in the neighboring buildings and the neighborhood. The police were, I'm sure, as dumbfounded as the rest of the neighborhood. Everyone at that time knew who Tesla was. He was routinely in the New York papers. You can actually look up the digitized papers from early 1900s New York City and find dozens and dozens of newspaper articles interviewing Tesla about lightning or electricity or reporting on his new experiments. He was an odd but welcome fixture. This is the additional video to show Tesla mechanical oscillator that we've shown in detail during the Westcom exhibit. Just to repeat so you know, this side it's a Tesla electromechanical oscillator that transmits the oscillations. It can be used to test the strength of the material or to send the signals. 
The other one is a receiver that can receive mechanical oscillators and interpret the data. These are the patents. It's popularly called earthquake machine. And this is another patent. So again, this is how it looks. And we are going to show the effects of electromechanical signals on this particular cables and uh, the behavior when it reaches near resonant frequency. This now is tremoring the whole table. And you can see the effect on the doors. The table, this table has a two frequencies. It has the one that the remembering the whole table and separate one that affects mostly the doors. This also has effect on a floor and uh, can alert the neighbors, so that's why there's a short test.